Oh, he sacrificed oh, you, little sneaky bitch. I'm distracted by like the five and then the left one of them. <clears throat> Stop teleporting right on top of the dude. Oh my goodness. Down one. He's nuts. Alright, alright. Come, Come on! What? Pull my fucking because hair out, dude. People are not watching the left hand complex. I have to take No, I died on the right I hand side. Right hand for no reason. <laughs> no reason. No reason. No reason. Oh my god, you <coughs> fucker. Okay, I'll be right back. Why am I having a hard time, Seke? Because you're bad. No, shut the fuck up. Like, why? Do you want the real answer? Yeah. Would you like me to be your psychiatrist right now? Fuck, that is awful. fuck you, I don't give a shit about psychology. I love this spot. Difference between psychologist and a psychiatrist. Big difference. I still don't care. But I mean, I could tell you exactly why right now you're doing bad. Tell us. Do it. All right. So, one. <laughs> <laughs> we did somewhat bad on Crota, and Crota, in your opinion, is probably harder than VOG. Although you know deep down no. that VOG is actually Crota, harder than like Crota. We, I feel like we walked right. Okay. Through. So exactly. No, I was gonna say technically we did kind of bad, but you also noticed that we did good. So you we wanted to do bad. VOG before we even we started even Crota. Crota. Oh, let me finish. Was being Hold up, before we even started Crota, you wanted to do VOG, you were talking about it, then you joined and then you said after again, hey, let's do VOG, I said, let's do it. So you said, hey, let's see how easy it is. From that statement, I could tell that you've already given yourself what's called in psych uh, psychiatry and psychology, a self-fable. A self-fable is kind of like, you know, saying right that, you ha that you're invincible. So while that self-fable can make you be more conscious of your decisions, it can also make it seem like you can't fail. Because you think it's so easy to do this because of your level and your actual you're skill, you're doing a lot worse than you naturally would. Yeah. I don't know that's what it's called. I've heard of that Self-fable. Um, the idea came from teenagers between the age of 11 and 17, sometimes 18 or 19, is you, you have a... You, you, I'm sorry, I had a cleanse. Well, I'll blame that whole round on myself because I died really fast and it was actually my first death, so. I actually got a lot of kills that one. Austin yelled at me. That's good. It's because I'm allergic to avocados and I eat them. You're allergic to what? Avocados, but I still eat them. I do the same thing. I'm allergic to avocados. I'm lactose and bacon. I love cheese. I'm also. I want to throw up. That sucks. You're well, there are pills for that. Yeah. I didn't know that. There are pills for that. Whoever said you're lactose intolerant, there are pills for that. It makes my throat all puffed up and I can't breathe. Mine doesn't kill me. Mine kills me. Mine kills me. Ibuprofen. That is the answer. Ibuprofen. There it is. <laughs> I'm I'm allergic to a leave, but it helps my legs sometimes, so I still take it. But then I just take an ibuprofen with it. 
like, and I mean like allergic. deadly allergic. Like if I didn't, uh, if I didn't take an ibuprofen with allergic. it, it would kill me. I, I forget that? the name of it because I also can't take some other painkillers. Um, like Dilaudid, I can't take Dilaudid. That sucks, dude, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm sorry. Like, if I ever had to get my wisdom teeth pulled, that's what they would need to give me, and I wouldn't be able to take it, so they'd still have to pull them without painkillers. So you can't take Vicodin? Mm -hmm. That sucks. No, I could take Vicodin. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, uh, Vicodin, morphine, and shit like that, I could take it. Morphine gives me a rash, but it's not, like, anything. And it's really weird, too, because, like... Painkillers don't actually really affect me. That's with me and, um, what's it called? What they consider lean when you're leaning. No, um, the coating and pro the promethazine coating doesn't affect me at all. Like, my my mom's really, uh, what's, what's the word when, like, you always think you're sick? Oh, I forget the name that's of it. A hypochondriac. Yeah, my mom's a hypochondriac, so she has, like, 50 different types of pills. And, um, anytime, like, I would say, like, oh, I have a stomach ache, she'd, like, shove, like, fucking Tums and, like, other shit down my fucking throat when I was a kid. So, I, over time, just from scrapes and bruises, she'd give me, like, a fucking painkiller. And I, my body's just grown immune to it. And because of that, it's, it's also increased the, uh, the progression of osteoarthritis in my spine. It happens. The chemical imbalance in my body. Yep. I know all that. Oh my god, I almost fell off the edge. Thank goodness, I'm not driving. I've already done it once. It's okay. Hey, guess what? I didn't jump off the edge. That was an accident. Everything's an accident for you. I'm accident prone. I'm accident prone. I know. I know. That's just an excuse. I know, seriously. I should just defriend you. Shit. Okay, that actually kind of hurt. Uh, Maybe that'll force you to play better. <sighs> no, nah, probably not. You can go and do friendly health and shit. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> what are friends anyway? No shits right. hath been given on this day. Who has friends? Who fuck that? That's how I spend my. That's how I spend my days at school with no friends. Yeah. Aww, you too. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm sorry to say I'm a very antisocial person, but for some reason I had way too many fucking friends. <laughs> it was like it it literally pissed me off how many fucking people wanted to hang out with me because I was in metal shop, I was in metal shop, and like I was a better welder than my teacher. Uh, and fucking people would just like ask me to teach them how to fucking weld and shit. See, and it just got so knew. annoying. Everyone knew me, but I, I knew, but had no idea who the no fuck they were. The fuck oh god, that's how it was, but for me it was with teachers and adults and shit at school because I was in behavioral ed because I used to put people in comas by beating the shit out of them. And so all the teachers knew me, and like half the time, like I'd have like a fucking teacher like passing me in the hall. And like, well, no, not really. No, I'm not proud of it. I just don't give a shit. I just don't give a shit. It was never my intention to fucking put them into an coma, and it was never m me that started the fights. Just stupid I, people. I think you're my brother. I think you're my long brother. <laughs> I mean, what um, I didn't say, go coma, and they coma it up. They just happen. They come it up. <laughs> what is this a fucking anime? <laughs> no, but like fucking teachers would pass me in the hall and they'd be like, "Oh, hi, Jason. How's your day?" I'm like, "Uh, hi, teacher. I have no idea what your name is." Hello, teacher. <laughs> like it's so fucking weird. It's been like that since elementary school. Talk to me, and they don't know me, so yeah. Well, you're just a fucking weirdo then. But it's their job to tell for you. No. They See, keep. They keep. They keep. They keep. They keep. And then when I got to high school, I lost a lot of weight, and then everyone was like, "Oh, I know who you are," and I'm like, "I have no idea who the fuck you are." Uh, Hello. I always knew who you were. I still yeah. lose weight. Probably doesn't help you like starting off marks every day. I started the heroin diet, it works fantastic. I never looked better in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? 
I might take your advice on that. The heroin diet. That's terrible. What? Oh, come on. But you know what? It works. And that's what matters. <laughs> right. I just did. John Pock, that fanatic came I from did... your side. I bring you. I think he popped in you. an aerobics. What are you talking about? That's how it works. It walked up what? behind me. Oh, that's bullshit. I just got, I just got shot at the same time by two fucking hoplites. I was busy fighting all these vex that just keep constantly coming out of that room, Shoot. and I got blown up. Ah, uh, dude, that's oh god. Shit, <laughs> I come it up and died. Come it up. Nah, I, I put, oh, I broke. Go. I broke like two arms. I put one dude in a coma, and then like oh my god, I just kept oh fucking giving people concussions. I broke okay, so I'm sixth grade, and sixth grade there was this new kid, and he was my best friend. And one day I was fucking around, and I broke his arm, and he passed out, and I had to run to the nurse's office, and I thought he was dead. And it was the most horrible thing ever. I not, I never saw him again after that. It was terrible. Oh, I was like, did I kill my best friend? Like, no, he didn't die, but I was scared, because I was in sixth grade, and I was scared. <laughs> no, and I could have grabbed that heavy, too. Okay. No, he's alive. Okay, so he lives in the, the suburbs. <laughs> totally not. I was going to win this, but I'm going to try to stand my ground. We're not at the point to where... Oh, you your mark. <laughs> There's this guy that goes to, school, goes to school with me. I have a, cl I have a class with him. He was genuinely upset that, that he didn't he would had didn't have something broken or something bought, wrong with his body on his birthday. Because for the past seven years something's been wrong with, with him. Like he's broken an arm. He, he broke both his arms at the same time once, trying to dunk on a basketball goal. A yeah, basketball that's goal. goal? That's what we think. A calcium defi deficiency is what it was labeled. Um. He had, he had right. exams later that right. week, now let's play. so he now had let's someone play. take the test for him. Hey everybody, I'm gonna hey be back in like, like, like five minutes. Five minutes. Everyone kill yourself. Make it My nigga five Alex. Five minutes, a long time. That's a smoke break right there, Ashley. Let's go. Alright, smoke break. I'll be smoke back. break. I'll be back. Alright. Uh. <laughs> if you can look at that, I said no, he's mine. I just see you look up at me and walk away. It was great. The way that you're going to look at me, do you want to die, son? No, then shut up. I, I should have teabagged him one more time and then walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to imagine myself saying oh, that so shit. perfect. Oh god. Uh, this shit. <laughs> no, awful raids lead to great moments sometimes. True. <sighs> the fucking hardest part about this raid is Confluxes though. So it doesn't matter how experienced you are, the the fucking speed at which these enemies spawn and the number at which they spawn is just so fucking random, it just doesn't even matter. You can never predict what the fuck's gonna happen. I got this. Just kidding. <clears throat> Wait. Oh no, I already knocked it off. That's poop. Hold on. I'm knocking something off. Oh! <laughs> the hopeless jumping. Oh. Oh, I thought you were fixing to land somewhere. No, I was gonna die. I was dying on purpose.